Hey everybody, welcome back. Here we have the light burner. Um, I'll have a link down below in the description. If you have an EDF and don't have an afterburner type light burner is what this one is on it, you definitely need one. This one's gonna go on my free wing uh, F22. So this is what you get in the package. It comes in that little mailer envelope there. So I'll get the uh, pieces out of the packages here and kind of show you what you get. Okay, here's the pieces out of the packaging there. So this will be your controller. This will go to the balance of your 6S battery. Um, your receiver, then this will plug to the light burner. And then here it is. So we put like a 3D printed base here. We've got twin lights because F22 has twin exhaust nozzles. So, the next step is going to be to get the F22 up here and then take the uh, fan set up out of it. And here's the instructions. There is one note here that you have to calibrate the burner each time. Um, you got to advance the throttle beyond half point. But here's the free wing instructions. That's what I'm going to use. They make it for a bunch of different kinds and different models. Here's the basics, pretty simple. So, yeah. So, I'll get my F22 up on the cutting block here and we'll flip it over and get the fan out and I'll kind of do a pictorial of how we do this. So, like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll be right back. Okay, so on the F22, Freewing F22, you've got two little Phillips head screws here. Take those out, put them in my magnetic tray. Then you can pop this cover off. Almost a two-handed deal here. We're getting there. And boom. There's the jewel. So clearly this is going to go on the back here. So I'll take those six screws out so I can pivot it up. And uh, then we'll get to work on the back of that. Okay, take the screws loose. It just pulls out. Make a note of what colors go with it where. Because I'm just going to unhook the uh, fan motor from the speed control there. So... Um, if you take a picture, it's pretty easy. It's pretty hard to get the ESC controls twisted because they're so short, or the wires, I mean. So we'll get that loose, and then we'll have it free. Then we can get to work on popping that cone off and putting the new one on. Okay, so to get this cover off, you got to take, there's a set screw on each side. And then what I did is I took the handle of, like, a screwdriver and just kind of tapped it a little bit because it wouldn't come off. And that loosened it up a bunch. So it's coming off now. There you go. That's what you'll see. This is the cone you don't need anymore. And uh, now this bad boy is gonna just go on onto those little tabs. You're gonna basically just glue it onto those tabs that are sticking out. And that's how it's gonna work. It says here, carefully apply CA on all four of these little motor things. You don't wanna get CA in the motor, obviously but you're gonna put it on these little tabs here on the sides, then you're gonna stick that down onto there. So you're also gonna to wanna to note, um, you know, it sits in your bird like this with the mounting tabs will be, um, you know, level the horizon. So you're gonna want it to go on like so, so that these are pointing out the exhaust nozzles. So from the top, you're gonna to look kinda of like so. So we'll go ahead and get that glued on and uh, then we'll be back. Okay, we've got it glued on. Then the zip tie will go around the base of it like that. Clamp it on there really good. Come on, focus. Sorry about that. So anyways, I put it down below where the wires are so it doesn't create any more disturbance than it needs to. And uh, yeah, so once you get it tight, snip the extra off and then let it dry and then it'll be reassembly time. Okay, here we are looking back in the bird. I'm um, looking at how it's gonna go. So it's gonna set down in here and I'm gonna route the wires just right up in through, in through there and then right up in front of the ESC there goes into the radio compartment. So it's gonna be just a cakewalk, get it kind of routed up through there and secured so nothing can happen. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna shove that baby down in there and I'll be right back. Okay, the fan's going in. Got our colors hooked up like they were before. 
Um, if you guys have seen my F-16 video, I believe this came with it. It's that little rod to pull wires through. Uh, it's come in handy here. I'm gonna feed that up through the front inside out, hook my wires onto it, and away we go. So hopefully that'll make things a lot easier. I suggest you get one, or you could just take a piece of wire and make one. Um, I don't know, you could probably do it a bunch of different ways, but it's kind of tricky to get your fingers up in there, but you can do it. Okay, there we go, I've got it installed. You can see the twin burners will shoot down each tailpipe, so that's gonna look sweet from the back. Um, I've got my wire routed down in there. I've got all the screws in and tight. Um, I have all the, uh, whatever you call the buckle, part of the zip ties all on the top. I just kind of made it really clean. I don't know if you'll be able to see it very good in here, but actually you can. So anyways, that's how she goes right there, boys, girls. Now we're gonna put the cover back on with those same two screws and flip it over. And then we'll do the top part, wire it up and give her a test. Okay guys, installation is complete. So what I did in the Raptor so I pulled this board up and I just put the little, you can see the wire going down in the hole there. So I put the uh, little uh, driver board for the light burner in there so I can plug it on here or it should be long enough I can pull it out if I got a big battery and go, uh, if I put it in the other way to the front. Um, I just wide it into the throttle channel. I put the Y and everything underneath the board so it's clean. You don't know nothing's in there until you turn it on. Um, which we're gonna do next. So uh, once you get everything plugged in, like it says, you gotta advance the throttle slowly um, from idle to at least half. It's supposed to take a second. So you gotta go really slow. If you go really fast, it doesn't seem to work. Uh, I'll try it again with you guys on the film here, but um, let's get this thing hooked up and on the ground and then I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, let me get you guys down in here. We'll show you, once you get a little bit above half, it does kind of a flicker. <laughs> should have put some aluminum tape or something on the top there. I don't know. We'll see how much that shows outside. I don't know how much I'll dig that, but we'll give it a flight test uh, when we come back and we'll see how it does. As always, if you change the electronics, um, make sure you do a range check, make sure everything's kosher, but yeah, we'll be back um, in the next video with a flight video. So make sure you subscribe. You're not going to miss it. Links are down below in the description to everything, the radio I use, the jet, the light burner, the battery. Yeah, like, comment, and subscribe, and see you on the next one.